it would seem Respawn is in fact teasing the new divided moon map a little bit sooner than previously anticipated. And with it comes a lot of information about the backstory of the homeworld that the moon actually orbits and how it is in fact related to Seer, one of our more recent legends here in the Apex Games. But of course, there is definitely a lot happening here, probably more closer to season 15 necessarily than season 14, but it definitely does seem like we're gonna be seeing a new map. But first guys, if you enjoy the channel, how about taking the time to like this video? And if you're new, smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. Now, obviously, if you're unaware, there has been a lot of different information being leaked but also just yesterday we got some direct information from respawn in the form of this teaser of right here which curse, is a, kind correct? of like a stories from the uh, outlands situation where we're in seeing an interview with seer moon. and we get a lot Speak of information of regarding it's no fable the destruction the of the moon around Boreas. Now, the thing about this in particular is that we definitely food, know of a leaked moon map that that's been talked about for around a year now, According in fact. And poll, more recently, probably within the last season and a half, we definitely saw a bunch of leaked information showing off this new moon map, even though... It doesn't I have finalized to textures and potentially and there could change. be a lot more others to see the things that are moved and changed just before it's actually released. Uh, so While the geography itself the is probably somewhat oh, that, that stationary and set, so the actual little elements built. around the map but that are success, kind of spawnable or placeable are probably really up for grabs and then clearly the things like loot passes and loot balancing are things that are going to have to be taken the care of and of we don't know what the gimmick behind the map is really going to be really are we going to have pve on it just like storm point will there be what are you truly holds doing or some other gimmick like bunkers change. and loot vaults <sighs> it all remains to be seen what? but we definitely have some really interesting leaked video here that shows off the entirety of the map and it seems to be a fairly large map if we just go by the height of the dropship angle it does give a much more similar vibe to storm point in terms of how high you are and how far you need to actually make it across the map and you need to be much higher to get that kind of distance considering the physics that we currently have in apex legends now this map definitely at least as it stands now seems to have some varying terrain that is a little bit more in depth than what we've seen in other maps Currently, realistically speaking, Kings Canyon is just one type of terrain all the way through with a little bit of oasis points here and there. World's Edge is really just snow and lava, but it's lava that's cracking through what is mostly a frozen tundra. And then, of course, we have Olympus, which is just plain and simple a city. And more recently, Storm Point was released, which is kind of a secluded island that actually gives us a little bit more variance in the terrain than we've ever seen in apex legends because we have the beachfront areas we have what is essentially a forest like area and it's really really interesting and yes you could say there's little diverse biomes that are in like king's canyon but specifically speaking, how many people really went to swamps to see the different biome that actually exists in there? Not very many people. So it is really interesting to see what the map looks like so far. And clearly with the textures missing and things like the potential weather elements in the background and things like the foliage, we don't really have a perfect idea of what this map will look like but we have an idea of the layout that they're trying to establish and it does at least from what we can see appear to be a fairly large map potentially as big or bigger than storm point which is already 15 percent larger than world's edge which was previously one of the biggest maps but storm point is definitely larger and world's edge is definitely a little more compact in its design in terms of how the points of interest are really put throughout the map and how they're rolled out of course 
when it comes to the newer maps like storm point there is a bit more directed loot and the ability to find easier locations that have very specific or specified loot that is making it a little bit easier to loot up and then when you add in things like the pve elements of storm point it's quite easy to get a hold of some really good loot as fast as possible so there could be a number of different gimmicks that are added into this upcoming moon map including pve because we definitely have some pve elements on other maps and you know clearly things like world's edge has the drones that fly around and you can shoot down with their little loot balls and king's canyon has the holds as well as it used to have the bunkers there's the vaults on world's edge there's the ship or the captain's bridge on uh olympus so there's really a lot of these little gimmicks that they've been starting to add in and i am very curious as to what they're going to do with the moon map but as it stands now for a larger map it does actually look like it might be a little bit more interesting than what we currently have in apex legends and it does make me wonder and i guess it does in a sense beg the question will we be seeing a player cap increase for specific maps and is that something that's actually possible for the devs at respawn to actually pull off <clears throat> well it all remains to be seen but one thing that doesn't remain to be seen guys is the fact that we actually have a giveaway for bangalore's mythic prestige skin going on right now check the links in the description you'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that will help improve your odds as well as uh, maintaining some extra epicness for the giveaway but uh yeah it does seem like we will be getting a new map and i do not think we'll be getting it in season 14 even though we did get the season teasers here early i think this is something we're going to be seeing teased even more throughout season 14 and we'll probably see a bunch of leaks for this when season 14 drops because it will in fact sync up with season 15 and kind of be identical to the pattern we've been seeing with every other map release from world's edge all the way to storm point which is released in the final season of the year which by all stretch and imaginations it should be just about the final season of this year when season 14 launches so we'll see how things end up actually happening and what ends up you know being the end of uh the whole idea there but i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one are you excited for another map or do you think there is too many maps in apex already but also if you do think this is going to be awesome and you do like the idea of other maps what is your favorite map and why and yes we're including the og throwbacks of world's edge and king's canyon so what is your absolute favorite drop that comment down below and let me know what you actually prefer and of course guys if you'd like to continue this conversation maybe you want to start another one maybe you want to even show me some of the crazy shenanigans that you're getting into here in apex legends and with some of your most epic plays then head on over to the social media links they're on the screen as well as in the description down below give them a like a favorite a follow it will greatly help the channel and it is appreciated absolutely but also it will help you out in terms of knowing when new giveaways start and basically i post everything on the social media links long before a video is going to be released on youtube so it will benefit you in the long run because I also do a ton of social media only giveaways that uh, pretty much flood the entire community with as much Apex love as I possibly can. But yeah, guys, it does seem that we're going to be seeing another new map in Apex, which is really cool considering they've been talking about legend bloat and we clearly have somewhat of an item bloat problem, even though we know there's a ton of weapons being worked on and a ton of items being worked on including you know different survival toolkits and so on so it's really nice to see that they are in fact trying to keep up the idea and pattern that we've been seeing for the last three years as we head towards the fourth year of apex and i appreciate a lot of what some of the devs are really doing is uh you know realistically speaking it's not all that often that you see a multitude of maps get released for battle royale games and see them actually stay in 
rotation you know like fortnite warzone once the map was gone it's gone so this i think is going to be pretty cool and definitely adds some depth and richness to apex that was not there before but of course only time will tell if the map's any good and if it kills storm point but that about wraps it up for today's video so what i'm going to do is put another one right here on the screen that you should check out right now but thanks for watching guys thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and don't forget you won't be able to check out the new moon map or any of the old maps if you don't stay safe stay healthy and as always have a good one